Hey folks, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge, and we've got a package from Rake Canada. Rake knives are one of my, they might even be, I'm going to decide by December when I do my best of 2018 videos. I think they are the company that I am putting on the top of my list for budget knives that are very good quality at a very good price. It's not a final decision yet, but they are making a big go at it. And so I've got three knives in here to share with you guys. And I'll be using this rake knife to open the box. This is the P105K with blue and black G10. Love this knife. 14C 28 inch stainless steel. Very, very nice. Now, before we get into the unboxing, it's time for a little bit of a teaser. I just posted this video on my other channel, Goods, Gadgets, and Gear, but I want to, okay, I just dropped the little piece that goes into your 12 volt outlet in your car to run this. This is the best budget price dash cam that I have reviewed. I've reviewed, I think about four or five different dash cams, and this one is awesome. It's made by Xiaomi. It uh, records at 1080p. It uh, is voice controlled in English. You can buy a Chinese version if you're Chinese. So Chinese or English, depending on which one you buy. At uh, right now, it's $35 or so US just for today and tomorrow. Well, it depends on when I release this. It might be just for today. Um, so you want to get at it quick. But uh, even if it's at regular price, that's around the mid 40s US dollars for this camera. Uh, really, really nice dash cam. You get it with a really long cable so that you can uh, mount it on your dashboard. It comes with a clamp that's mounted on my wife's Toyota Corolla right now. And this line goes around your windshield and down across and gets plugged in. And watch that review. Please go to Goods, Gadgets and Gear and I'll have links to buy this at Banggood because Banggood is the store that uh, sent this to me to review. Highly recommend the Banggood 70 May, M-A-I. But I also got a micro SD card from them, a Chinese version of a card, very economical. I've got links for that. So eight gigabytes to 64 gigabyte card, you can put in these things and it talks to you. You can tell it, take a picture, and it takes a picture. Uh, if you want a permanently record video of something that you see coming up, record a video and it'll permanently record a section. And if your vehicle gets hit or it runs over something really rough on the road, it'll also permanently record a stretch of video so that you know it'll be there when you need to take this to your computer. It's got Wi-Fi built in it so you can control it from your cell phone. Loads and loads of good stuff. Go watch that video. Now, let's get to this box. And uh, we're gonna undo the tape. Because I like keeping my boxes for shipping knives that I sell. And I like to cut towards my chum. You guys are my chums. Chum is an old English word meaning friend. So I cut towards my chum. Oh, it's not my thumb. Hey, hey, don't leave, don't leave yet. <laughs> and uh, let's open this up. Close the knife. Oh, love that knife. And uh, let's take this out and I'll show you the three boxes. Okay, so here's the three rake boxes. Yes, it's pronounced rake. The owner of the name gets to say how it's pronounced. And they said that the name rhymes with my name. Jake has a rake knife, although it's spelled very differently. And uh, they get to decide how their name is pronounced because they own the name really nice boxes that you get from them. And this is not a full review, this is just an unboxing. This is from the M series. Uh, this is one of their multi-tool knives. And I've not reviewed all of their uh, multi-tool knives. They've got so many, they got loads of these. I like this size where it's got like three or four tools in it. And this one is the M21, I think. What is it again? Let me double check this. M21G for green. You can also get it in black. And so what we have is we've got a glass breaker 
we've got tweezers. Put the tweezers back in there. We've got a pocket clip, and it's uh, you know a good quality pocket clip. We've got a uh, corkscrew, and that's it for the back. And then the other side has this bottle opener tool, a wire stripping kind of tool, flat driver. You can also use that a little bit as a pry tool. And then on the other side, we've got, and it only comes out at a 45 degree angle, it's a little recurve scalloped or uh, serrated blade with a small driver on this side, small flat driver there. Um, you've got a little uh, ring here so that you can use it on a little lanyard tap or attach it to you know, a set of keys or whatever. And so you've got that as well. And then you've got the main blade as well. It's a nice hollow grind blade. Let me close this side off and close that off. So there you go. It's a good blade under three inches. I think it's about two point two and a half inches or something like that. I'll put the exact size on the screen. 12C27 Sandvik steel, nice thin hollow grind. It's almost got a mirror reflection on the edge. They've polished it very nicely. And so you've got a nice little tool at a light weight for a very good price. And now, that's a tool that's been around for a little while. These two knives are brand new for the last half of 2018. Uh, let's go with the smaller one first. And this is the P671-CB for carbon fiber overlay. Ooh, carbon fiber. Okay, open the box up. And of course you get your paraphernalia. You get the manual about this specific knife. And here's the bag. And it's a smaller knife. And there's the rake label and it's clipped onto the pocket clip. And I'm gonna leave that on there for right now. This is a thumb flipper. Okay, it's not super smooth yet. I have to learn it first, <laughs> but uh, yeah, wow, got something in my eye. We've got G10 on the top of those thumb studs. We've got a nice blade there. That's a high saber grind. 14C28N <laughs> Sandvik steel, carbon fiber overlay. Nice lanyard hole back here. Uh, liner lock. <laughs> so it's a thumb flipper liner lock or you can use the thumb studs. Oh, wow, using the thumb studs, it really flies out. Or you can do it as a thumb flipper up here. And of course, use it for a little while and you get much faster at it. Nice three finger grip here. So it's a little bit too big to be called a uh, tiny knife or a wee Wednesday knife for me. Um, and it's got uh, somebody else's brand name on there. So they've got a designer. I'll have to look up who the designer is that worked with Rake. And beautiful looking knife. So you've got a liner lock that holds it, plus you've got the spine of the blade up here where your thumb is. You know, even if the liner lock failed, your thumb is still going to stop it from closing because your thumb's holding it down. Very, very nice. Good thick blade for its length. Love that tip. Nice drop point with a switch. That is beautiful. And of course, it's skeletonized very nicely. I'll take it all apart, show you the insides and everything, do some work with it, and show you this knife. But I am super impressed so far with this. Very, very nice. Those of you guys who like thumb studs, and there are more and more of you talking to me lately that you like thumb stud knives. Uh, there you go. This is a good choice for a small carry knife. And Finally, the a larger one is right here, and this is the P155W for desert sand. I don't know why W is the uh, color code for a sandy kind of color, but it is. Of course, paraphernalia again, manual for that specific knife. Comes in a nice, fairly heavy mill, heavy duty plastic bag. We've got a, a lanyard hole at the back here that goes all the way through right there. The pocket clip is on this side. And 
Yeah, it's inset in the G10. We've got a curved down handle, so it really curves down into your hand. Flipper tab looks at the flipper tabs really designed for a light switch method. You also have thumb studs again, and uh, thumb studs are easy to use. And yeah, <laughs> look at that. You, that. That's almost big enough if you use just a little bit of your finger for a forward twirl. And yeah, you could do that. Nice, like scimitar tip kind of style, upswept blade. A nice thumb rest right there at the end of the uh, blade. Oh, it comes with a little lock. I forget what they call this little lock, so you can't undo, you can't open the lock with that slid forward. I like that these have extra grippiness to them. Some of these knives that have this kind of switch, uh, sometimes they're really soft and it's really easy to accidentally lock the knife when you don't want to, but uh, this one's not that bad. And it's got a hollow pivot screw, just like it's got the hollow tail screw. Body screw, nice thumb studs. Let's try it with the flipper tab. All flipper tabs, awesome, very smooth action. Very, very smooth action, look at that. Love that. And in the hand, that actually feels very, very nice. When I saw the pictures of this, I wasn't quite sure how good that would feel, but wow, it is awesome. Let's see how the, oh, the reverse grind feels, a reverse grip feels really awesome as well. You, know, you get a lot of force using your arm that way. Wow. Nicely polished grind. That's one thing I've noticed with rake knives. The grind is polished better than a lot of budget knives. 14C, 28N again. And uh, P155, it comes in this green. And this is uh, milled. It's not just a flat slab of G10 here. It's a nicely CNC milled piece here. Or you can get it in black. So this desert sand or in black. So look forward to seeing these videos. Thank you very much to Rake Canada for sending me these knives. And uh, you can buy them. Anybody in North America can buy from Rake Canada. Uh, the price is on the screen, especially with the exchange rate right now. My American friends, buying from Canada is economical. It's worth it to buy something, buy knives from Canada. They'll ship them to you. And wow, and they ship fast. So uh, you save like 30 cents on the dollar. But yeah, lockup is beautiful. Really, really nice. Love this. <laughs> but uh, carrying this knife, and I'm going to get good at that action. This would be a really good EDC knife. Really, really good for that, especially an urban EDC knife. It's got enough girth that you can get a really good grip on it, so you could use it for self-defense even. I don't like knives that have too small of handles if I'm going to use them you know, in an emergency situation. I like a little bit of girth. That's over half an inch thick, I think. Just a little bit over half an inch. Or you can carry something like this all day long. And uh, that's a really good carry as well. They do have some locking multifolder, multifunction knives as well. So there you go. These three knives reviews will be coming up in the future. Not sure exactly how quickly, but thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for going off and checking this May 70 May by Xiaomi out. I'll have a link to the video for this up in that corner. Remember guys, always. Well, let's here, let's take this one. <laughs> Cut towards your chum and not your thumb. Bye now.